Now, our next step is going to be the installation and operation of the provided supply line heater, which actually consists of two items. Number one is this partially assembled foam insulation tube with uh, heating straps pre-inserted into it. These heating straps and this insulation tube are going to fit over the supply line, uh, thus allowing you to heat the entire supply line to a specified temperature, uh, therefore accurately maintaining the viscosity of your material throughout the run of the supply line. This is all connected to the second item here, which is the black control box. This control box will connect to the heating straps that are coming out of this uh, insulation tube and allow you to control by degree the temperature and thus the viscosity of the material that you are feeding through the machine. Now before we connect to the black digital control box, it will be essential and easier if we simply fit this over our supply line beforehand. To do so, uh, simply open up the slit in the foam tube and begin to insert it over your supply line. Making note that the heating straps that you see inside of this foam tube should be sitting on the underside of the supply line because heat rises. So with, as these heating straps heat up, you want them to heat up underneath the supply line so that the heat will rise up through the supply line instead of sitting on the top side of it where the heat would just rise up into the uh, foam tube insulation here and really not do too much. So uh, begin by just opening the slit here and having it facing up and just insert it over the supply line very slowly and if you have done a good job of cutting your supply line to the recommended three foot length you will find that this three foot foam insulation tube fits precisely uh, across the run and will be a very tight fit across the entire supply line. When you are done it should look like so and you'll notice on this foam heating uh, insulation tube that across that slit you can actually peel off the adhesive backing that is uh, provided on here and seal the foam insulation tube. I would actually recommend against that. The reason being is that you're not really going to increase the heat retention very much by sealing it up but what you do do is make it extremely hard for yourself to A, remove this foam tube should you need to, but then B, to open up and see your supply line and see if there's any air bubbles that have developed. If there's an air bubble in the line, it's going to greatly incre uh, affect the accuracy of the machine. So by leaving this foam tube open in such a way so that it's closed, but you can easily open it back up to view your supply line and or remove it, you allow yourself the ability to view and see exactly what's going on and see if there's any sort of air bubbles in the line. Now, once this tube has been put in place and it is to the right length, all you need to do to hook it up into your black digital control box here is find the appropriate connectors uh, at the end and then just simply insert them into the ports at the very top of this black control box. Uh, insert them in until they snap in place and now we are ready to begin heating our supply line. To operate this black digital control box it's a very very simple process. To select your target temperature which is the temperature that we want to bring your supply line to uh, Again, I'd like to start with 40 degrees Celsius. So I'm simply going to press the up button here until I reach my desired uh, temperature. And it is at 40 degrees Celsius now. Should you want to activate the uh, heater, all you have to do is press the bottom two buttons, which is the setup and the enter button, at the exact same time. Once you do that, you will notice both green buttons on the bottom begin to light up and your digital display will begin to show the actual temperature climbing up to your target temperature. Once your target temperature has been attained, this digital control box will monitor it hundreds of times per second in order to ensure that it never travels any more than 1% away from your target temperature. 
thus keeping the heat on your supply line extremely accurate, keeping your viscosity consistent, and thus keeping the accuracy of your machine very high and stable.